The country of Indonesia spans a distance larger than that between Los Angeles and New York City, encompassing roughly 18,000 islands. Among these, only about 6,000 are inhabited by humans, while the others host some of Earth's most diverse animal life and incredible landscapes. This cradle of biodiversity contains countless endangered species, many of which are disappearing each year. Out of the five islands that make up Indonesia, Sumatra is the largest Indonesian island and the sixth largest island in the entire world. It is also home of the rarest tiger on Earth, the Sumatran tiger. In this video, we're going to go over everything about the Sumatran tiger and why this incredible animal is now on the precipice of being extinct. Let's get into it. The world's rarest tiger has experienced several hardships in the recent years. Hunting is the largest and most prolific cause of the Sumatran tiger deaths, accounting for nearly 80% of annual losses. Poachers have hunted them to near extinction, driven by the desire to profit from selling their body parts. Currently, they are classified as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. The skin and teeth of the Sumatran tigers are a common exotic trophy item, while their whiskers and bones are occasionally used as ingredients in Chinese traditional medicines. All parts of these tigers fetch high prices on the secondhand market, and unfortunately, protection laws often fail to deter hunters who are driven by the potential for large profits. In addition, Sumatran tigers have also been slowly losing their natural habitat due to the palm oil, paper, and coffee industries. Illegal deforestation is common throughout the regions, where many Sumatran tigers are native. Just like the hunters, legal ramifications do not scare off those destroying the forest, and their desire for profit remains too high, and the punishment for being caught is not strict enough. The involvement of many high-ranking politicians in the legal logging industry further complicates the fight amongst the destruction of their habitat. The remaining 20% of Sumatran tiger deaths are attributed to this activity. Human-tiger conflict is positively correlated with increased deforestation. Consequently, the smaller the Sumatran tiger's habitat gets, the more likely they are to have a confrontation with human populations. Estimates indicate that only 400 still exist in the wild, with another 200 living in captivity. The Javan and Balinese tigers have since gone extinct, leaving the Sumatran as the last remaining tiger species native to Indonesia. Due to the gravity of the situation, protection efforts are at an all-time high. In response to this crisis, conservationists are employing several methods to help slow the disappearance of these beautiful tigers. One such preserve at the forefront of the Sumatran tiger conservation is the Tambling Nature Preserve located at the southwest tip of Sumatra. Upon its founding, any human communities that settled in the area were relocated off-site. They began reforesting immediately, which allowed wildlife to thrive, and animals such as buffalo and deer enjoyed a boom in their populations. As human-tiger conflicts rose, it became clear that trapping and relocation were necessary. However, the question remained, where would be safe enough? The Indonesian government saw Tambling Nature Preserve as the answer, and for 15 years the Tambling Nature Reserves have rehabilitated and re-released Sumatran tigers into the wild. The effectiveness of the strategies employed varies depending on several factors, such as government support, financial backing, and widespread awareness. Although it may seem like an uphill battle, conservation efforts are having a positive effect on the number of Sumatran tigers. Without human intervention, rehabilitation, and relocation, it is likely that the Sumatran tiger would have already suffered the same fate as their Javan and Balinese counterparts. We hope you enjoyed this video and encourage you to like and subscribe. Don't forget to visit azanimals.com to learn more about nature and the world around us. Thanks for watching.